Hello, welcome to online tutorial of WorkFusion RPA Express created by Tilik Poutal. Today, we are going to discuss use of Control Tower to run script and debugging related errors like Control Tower not going to start state and unable to publish script. That is, nothing happens on click of publish on Control Tower. Control Tower helps us to link our recording to business process and run it. We can also configure scheduling to this business process from Control Tower. We will discuss scheduling in next lesson. We can also view detail log summary from Control Tower. Let's try to run a recording on Control Tower. For that, I have already created a recording. You can use any of your already created recording you want to publish. First, to avoid the issue of Control Tower not starting, close all the running applications from your desktop including the RPA recorder. Now go to Service Management section of WorkFusion. Click on Restart All Components. Wait till the Open Control Tower is in start state. It will take time depending on your system RAM. After some time, the control tower will be started. Make sure you have control tower and bot manager in start stage. Stop the OCR to reduce stress from RAM. This will help control tower to run on low RAM machine. Now click on Open RPA Recorder. Click on the Publish to Control Tower drop-down. Select as a new business process. A window will be opened asking for business process step name. If this window doesn't come in your case, then follow the steps. These steps are also given in description box. Now, back to our step. Give any name for the business process. Verify you have selected proper recording file. Click on Finish. A success pop-up will be shown. Close it. Now, go to Services Management section. Click on Control Tower. Now a Chrome window will open for username, password. The default username and password is WorkFusion. Now, click on View All Business Process. You will see a business process created. Click and open the business process. Now. You will be able to see the business flow diagram created for our recording script. Click on Run this business process. Now your recording will start running. The business process is started. Click on View Results. Our recording script has also started to run. Once the recording run is completed, Refresh page till you see results. This may take time to reflect, so refresh again. You can see the business process status as completed. Click on business process. Now click on info icon. You can view errors if any. In next lesson we will discuss how to schedule a business process recording. This is it for today. Comment down suggestions if any. Goodbye. Have a nice day.